So we're rebuilding a 90s Dodge NV4500. We needed to pull the rear counter shaft bearing off. The manual recommends a QT 2014 puller and a QT 2019 collet. What we ended up doing was I had this set. It's a item number 62. 593 bearing separator and puller set uh, from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's a pretty good set. It uh, does pretty good stuff. The only thing is this larger uh, bearing separator would not uh, would not fit around the shaft. So I ended up buying this Maddox one that is bigger and fit around it better. The Maddox item number is a 63662. But with the Maddox, so the difference is with the set I had, these holes down here are a 3 8 by 16 that goes in there. The Maddox is a 5 8 by 18 thread. So to be able to use these tools, which are a 3 8 by 16, and get them to go into the Maddox, I had to make an adapter so that I could use these extensions that come with the kit. Because these extensions will fit onto this like that and the 5 8 won't so what I did was took and welded a 5 8 bolt 5 8 by 18 thread to a 3 8 by 16 call it so that these extensions would then screw into those and go into the puller and as you can see they went in this way like that um, that worked out perfect the welds held great. I was a little worried about the 3 8 thread uh, breaking, but it did not. This is a great set. I recommend it. The only thing I don't like about it is, well, the 3 8 could be bigger. And then also this shaft, as you can see, it doesn't come with a pointed end like this. So what I had to do was take that from a harmonic balancer slash steering wheel puller that I had and put that on there. They should include that in the set. I don't know why Harbor Freight doesn't do that. But as I said, it's a good set. Uh, and I like the Maddox uh, bearing separator. You can use it on a, uh, I mean, you can use all these on a press, which is great. But then you also got this puller system too, if you don't have a press available. Or in our case, this would have been pretty heavy to lift the NV4500 into the press. So that was my fix. Um, I will post links for the bolt and the uh, and the uh, collets. Basically, basically, they're used for unistrut to put uh, pieces of all thread together when you're hanging things and different things in buildings. But they work out great for this because you can weld them to the bolt. I used grade eight bolts. Probably could have used grade five, but figured might as well go with a grade eight. So that's my video. Uh, Look for more. We plan to post a lot more on our projects.